China has released a new map showing new territories were accepted as Chinese. This move triggered anger in India, Malaysia, Nepal, Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines. China's government has issued the 2023 edition of the Standard Map of China, which delineates the entirety of the state of Arunakal Pradesh and the Aksai Chin region as part of China's territorial boundaries. This move reflects China's long-standing territorial claims and disputes with neighboring countries like India. The 2023 map was issued by the Ministry of Natural Resources, and continues to assert China's territorial claims along its western borders including the controversial Nine-Dash Line encompassing the entire South China Sea. In addition, a Tenth Dash has been included east of Taiwan, reiterating Beijing's sovereignty claims over the island, a position that has long been a point of contention. The release of this latest map comes after Beijing's announcement in April, where it declared its intention to standardize the names of 11 locations in Arunakal Pradesh, including a town near the Arunakal Pradesh capital of Itanaga. This marked the third instance of such renaming efforts concerning places in Arunakal Pradesh. Observers interpreted this move as a response to India's hosting of events leading up to the G20 summit in the state, an initiative that Beijing had opposed. The unveiling of the 2023 map coincided with what China is referring to as National Mapping Awareness Publicity Week, alongside the standard map release for public use. The Ministry of Natural Resources intends to launch digital maps and navigation and positioning tools for deployment in numerous sectors, including location-based services, precision agriculture, the platform economy, and intelligent connected vehicles. The Philippines has reacted to China's new national map along with Malaysia, Nepal, Vietnam, Indonesia, and India. These countries have issued strongly worded statements accusing Beijing of making territorial claims over their lands. This highlights the ongoing tensions and disputes regarding territorial boundaries in the region. The Philippines has expressed its rejection of the map due to the presence of a dashed line that encircles disputed areas in the South China Sea. These areas were the subject of an international tribunal ruling in 2016, which ruled in favor of Manila. The Philippines Foreign Affairs Department has asserted that the map represents the latest effort to legitimize China's alleged sovereignty and jurisdiction over Philippine territories and maritime zones, emphasizing that such claims have no foundation in international law. This stance reflects the ongoing disputes and tensions in the South China Sea region. India was the first to raise objections registering a strong protest over the depiction of the Indian state of Arunakal Pradesh and the disputed Aksai Chin Plateau, as part of Chinese territory on the Chinese map. This move by India signaled its concerns regarding territorial disputes with China in these regions. Malaysia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has similarly rejected China's unilateral claims and reaffirmed its consistent stance of rejecting any foreign party's claims to sovereignty, sovereign rights, and jurisdiction over Malaysia's maritime features. This underscores Malaysia's commitment to upholding its territorial sovereignty in the face of such claims. Vietnam has consistently emphasized its sovereignty over the Parasol and Spratly Islands and has firmly rejected any maritime claims made by China based on the Nine-Dash Line in the East Sea. This reaffirms Vietnam's position on these territorial and maritime disputes in the region. The sensitivity surrounding the Nine-Dash Line is evident in Vietnam's actions. In July, Vietnam banned the popular Barbie movie because it featured a map displaying the disputed Chinese claims, highlighting how contentious this issue is for Hanoi. This move underscores Vietnam's commitment to challenging any representations of the Nine-Dash Line that it views as encroaching on its sovereignty and territorial claims. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin dismissed the objections raised by neighboring countries, asserting that the revisions to the map were a standard exercise of sovereignty conducted in accordance with the law. He further stated, we hope relevant sides can stay objective and calm, and refrain from overinterpreting the issue. 
This response reflects China's position that these map updates are part of its territorial claims and not intended to escalate tensions. Since assuming power in 2012, leader Xi Jinping has been committed to elevating China's status to that of a global superpower. He has pursued an assertive foreign policy characterized by more audacious actions in various critical hotspots across Asia. This assertiveness reflects China's ambition to play a greater role on the global stage. Tensions between China and India escalated significantly in 2020 following a fatal clash in the Galwan Valley, near the disputed Xi Chin region, which is controlled by China but claimed by both nations. These tensions persisted and flared up again in December of the same year when a skirmish between troops from both sides occurred in the Torang sector of Arunakal Pradesh, resulting in minor injuries. These border disputes continue to be a source of strain in Sino-Indian relations. As the tensions between Beijing and New Delhi persist, politicians from India's main opposition party have criticized Prime Minister Modi for what they perceive as downplaying the border issue. These criticisms reflect the ongoing political discourse in India regarding the handling of the border disputes with China. India has indeed implemented various measures to counter perceived threats from China. This includes banning popular Chinese apps like TikTok and others, citing concerns about their impact on sovereignty and integrity. Additionally, India has moved to block Chinese telecom giants Huawei and ZTE from providing equipment for its 5G network. These actions reflect India's efforts to address its national security and technological concerns in the context of its relations with China. China opted to boycott a G20 tourism meeting hosted by India earlier this year in the Himalayan region of Jammu and Kashmir. China's rationale for this decision was its opposition to holding any kind of G20 meetings in disputed territory. It's worth noting that both India and Pakistan assert claims over the disputed Kashmir region in its entirety, which has been a long-standing point of contention between the two countries. Beijing characterized the recent meeting with India as a candid and in-depth exchange of views, while India stated that Prime Minister Modi emphasized the importance of observing and respecting the line of actual control. Modi's government has also allocated substantial funds to finance connectivity projects on the Indian side of the border, with the aim of bolstering civilian presence and establishing new paramilitary battalions in the region. These measures are part of India's broader strategy to enhance its position along the border with China.